All right, I'm going to the farm, guys. See you in a few hours. Taking the shark slicer today. All right, I got a fish trap with a piece of coconut in it. It's the only bait I have at the moment. I have fishing stuff with my own fancy made super deluxe lure. It's just a piece of uh, wire casing. Uh, my machetes. I got my long sleeve stuff just in case. I don't know. I started wearing long sleeve stuff whenever I'm hacking through the jungle. Just in case. I don't know. I got some water. All right, let's get out of here. Trolling speed. Yeah, great, I hit the mangroves. I guess I don't need to be that close to them. Hey, right, voltage looking good. I often get lucky going through this channel. Come on, like 150 meters to go. Come on, fish. That's okay, I don't usually catch anything on the way here. I take a longer route on the way home if I have enough power, energy, if I have enough energy. No fancy fishing stuff for me. What are the back two? Size 14 boots. Yes, my feet are enormous. I can never find boots. So mom, can you send me another pair of these boots? In case you forgot what they were, they're... Oh, read that one. It says the one and only Lacrosse Authentic Grange. And I don't know what it says on the top here. Oh, it's something free. Anyway, it would be awesome if you could send me another pair of those, Mom, because they're pretty good. All right, machete sharpened on the front side and the back side for backswing. And me hat to deflect any spiders or things that may land on my head. I don't, I don't think any will. I haven't had any spider or snake or anything incidents out here. I have seen a, a few tarantulas which I, I think are supposed to not really be that dangerous. Creepy though. They're like hamsters with eight legs. Octa hamsters. Sign's still good. A couple markers. Here's my one post. It's... Ooh, looks like someone's been making a nice trail through here. That was, that was me. Hey, dude. Here's an old abandoned house site. Fork in the road. I think this way first. I'll come back the other way. Oh good, it's pouring rain.
All right, I better put my camera away in case I slip here. Ah, piece of cake. So this is my farming zone. This area down here is pretty swampy. I'm seeing if I can get some sugar cane to grow and some watermelons on the on the edge of the wet area. This right here, I'm just using to see if I can use it to kill the grass. And then over here, we got banana trees, other banana trees, other banana trees, or plantain or something. And an orange tree up here, here, back there. And I planted some papaya very recently that are hopefully alive. Let me figure out where I put those. Oh, right there. Right by the stake. Here's my little papaya trees. I'm not gonna mess with them. Come on guys, you can do it. Okay, anywhere there's a stick, I put it there because, oh yeah, right here there's some yucca growing. That's delicious, kind of like, uh, the roots are a little bit like potatoes. That's a banana tree. Got my sticks here so I don't accidentally walk on it. Now what is this tree? Deshaina told me to bring a leaf back. I'm hoping it's an avocado. That would be awesome. I don't know though. I don't know what it is. And then I've got this tree here. I'm not sure what it is either. I'm still kind of getting vines off it. Wow, man, things come back to life quick. This had no leaves on it a few days ago. That's a yucca. Same as this little guy here. And all these orange trees, they are not looking the greatest. They were so piled up with, you know, all this stuff, like just all kinds of weeds on them, um, that they did, they basically had no leaves on them. So I got it all cleared off, and all this stuff is new. So he's coming back to life quick. Yeah, most of the leaves on here are brand new. That's great. I planted this citrus guy a couple days ago. Still looks healthy, should be good. Two days ago when I was here, I cleared out from about here out to the back there, so that whole area. And as far as I could tell, there were no food plants. But then this guy was hiding in there, it's a banana or a plantain or something, another one of those. And then an orange tree over here. Just, oh, there's another banana plant back in there too. Anyway. Whenever I'm hacking through the jungle, clearing stuff out, as long as I just pay attention, I'll find things like pineapples and banana trees and yucca and all kinds of stuff. I haven't planted, I've, I think I've planted maybe five things out here so far. Most of it's just uh, finding what's already here. Some of this stuff was planted years ago. No, oh, here's my watermelon. It looks like it's doing all right. Not dying yet, anyway. Here's a piece of sugar cane. I actually totally cut this down when I was coming through here because I didn't see it. But it looks like it's sprouting right here. So I'm just gonna leave that. And there's another piece over there, right there. Hopefully that'll sprout too. All right, I've got the stream or the river on this side and over there like up on these hills there's cows so I don't want to clear out too much here in case they come through and eat all my stuff uh, I could expand further back that way I think I just want to maintain the current space and keep planting stuff there's still some open spaces I haven't used yet and a few trees like this one that's nothing I need to cut that down so yeah, I'm just going to mostly just keep weeding this, finding plants, planting things. Just take care of this zone for a while, get it really going good. Whoa, dude, I was just doing 10 more minutes of weeding before I get out of here. Now I'm hiding under this tree. Oh, this is a tree I wanted to identify. Let me see. That's what the leaves look like. And it's got branches from the bottom sticking out all the way up. The branches are like that. And it's got one stick that goes right up. I guess I'll... Okay, there's a shot of a leaf. 
I guess I better get on the other side of that stream before I find out how big it can get. Oh yeah, I have a few more banana trees on the path, the secondary path on the way out of here. A couple little ones down here too. Oh, there's a rock I can step on down here, which I cannot see at the moment. All right, let's see. All right, made it no problem. Now if I go this way, this path goes along the side of the river, and I've got it all the way to where I parked the pedal boat before. So that's like my secret entrance there. We're not gonna go there right now though, we're gonna go a different direction. I guess it's a good thing I don't have far to go. I'm gonna hug the mangroves the whole way back to block wind. Still dragging a line though. Come on, fishes. Now I'm gonna conserve energy until I get to this one part where I may have to fight against a strong current and wind. My boat has half the number of batteries it normally does because I had to use four to fix something else. I would not want to be caught out there in this. Aha! That's a good little snack. Hey, you're not bad. Yeah, my big hands make them look so small. Got my line back up. Oh. Ah, I think that was grass. Alright, the weather might be breaking. I kind of want to... Oh, I think I saw something else. That was not just grass. Alright, there you go. Nothing in the trap right now. But I took a... I took the tail off the fish I caught and I put it in the trap. So now it's got some real bait. And before everyone asks, this is my lure. It's just a, a piece of the plastic from a piece of wire. And I cut little gills into it, but that's just because I felt like it. I don't think they actually do anything. The only thing that does do something is I stuck a piece of copper wire in this end to make it heavy enough to sink down a little. And then at the front, I left this little flap kind of sticking out. And since the copper wire is in here, I bent it a little. So that as it's pulling through the water, it starts curving because this kind of catches the water. Whoosh, and then as it flips over, whoosh, it, it ends up going back and forth like that a lot. Seems to work. My friend calls those lures the noodle. All right, let me get out of this soaking wet stuff. Oh, feed a fish head to some chickens, put the rest in the freezer, and check what that tree is.